when I was 10 years old, uh, some relatives witnessed to my parents about William Branham. And we had some relatives that had attended some of his meetings and they had shared the things that they saw with, with everyone in our family. And so my parents started following the teachings of William Branham when I was 10. Um, so basically I was raised in the message. Well, there were several things that caused me to question. Um, one of them was I worked with the youth in our church for about 10 years. And I observed that the effect that our particular approach to the gospel had on the youth in our church. And there was never a clear path to the foot of the cross. Every single thing hinged upon whether they believed William Brennan was a prophet, whether they believed uh, that he had some special revelations, whether they followed his rules, um, whether they listened to enough tapes to gain rapturing faith. And there was never a clear path to the foot of the cross. There was never um, salvation through Jesus Christ, and that is enough. That was never presented to them. So I watched the effect that this had on the youth. And that was a huge red flag for me, that something was wrong. Well, I had come across some information about a year and a half ago where William Branham had said some things that were not true. I did what I'd always been taught to do and I put that on a shelf and hopefully it would make sense to me eventually. And during the course of that next year, I observed the fruits that were in the message, especially the fruits that were coming from the message ministers. And I didn't like what I saw. I heard ministers in this message speaking about people who had left their churches. And these are people that I knew were very good Christian people. And they were basically putting them in hell. And these people hadn't even left the message. They just left their church and they de-Christianized them. They said they were not Christians. And I knew for a fact these people were very, very good Christians. So that was a red flag for me. And then I also heard comments from ministers about people who had left the message. And they were saying, um, their side of hell is going to be hotter. Uh, I don't want to be standing close by when the fire comes and consumes them. And the more I heard these ministers making these kind of comments, the more I realized there's something terribly wrong with the spirit behind this religion. And also, I, I knew that the Jesus in the Bible who I loved was not the same Jesus that the message promoted. I knew they were diametrically opposed to each other. So um, the, the ministry that I was, or the fruits of the ministers was one of the biggest red flags that, that got my attention. I also started comparing things that William Brenham said with things that William Brenham said. And he basically um, was talking out of both sides of his mouth many, many, many times. And the other thing I did is I compared scriptures to quotes and that dissolved the quote. It, it totally disqualified everything he said because when compared to scriptures, it was, it was proven wrong. So when I saw that, I knew I had to make a choice. I had to choose God's word. I had to stay with the word of God. And that, that is why I took the stand that I did and said, I've, even though I've been taught this all of my life, this is all that I knew. When I actually started looking into it and I realized it was wrong, I had to walk away from it. Do not be afraid to ask the hard questions. You have to ask the hard questions. The ministers that are refusing to allow their people to search for truth, that should be the biggest sign to you that something is wrong. Because a Christian tells you to go and search for truth. 
a Christian implores you to bring questions to them so that they can prove that what they believe is correct scripturally. So if you have a, a minister telling you that you are not allowed to look into this, that you are not allowed to prove that what you believe is right, that is the biggest red flag to you that something is terribly wrong. Because the Bible says to prove all things. The Bible says to put it to the test. And if the Bible tells us to put it to the, t to the test and the minister is telling you that you're not allowed to do that, that is, that is the answer that you need that there is something wrong. So I would tell people to ask the hard questions, to prove what you believe is scripturally sound, put it to the test, and, and look at it honestly, and make sure that what you believe has a very, very firm scriptural foundation. And don't let anybody take that from you. I feel like since I've left the message, um, I have experienced complete freedom. There was so much pressure being in the message. Um, the other part of it that was very difficult for me is the, the terrible way that William Brenham spoke about women. He was extremely belittling to them. My entire life, I heard my gender referred to as dog meat, the lowest creature on earth, um, lower than a pig, a dog, um, I was designed by Satan. I, I have heard so many negative things by William Branham that the fact that I'm away from all that is amazing. And I don't have to ever hear those, those comments again. I know that Jesus Christ does not view me that way. And so I'm now free to enjoy the love that the Lord has for me and also the, the way he views me. I'm able to enjoy that. And, um, and the freedom in Christ that I have since I've left. So that would be, yeah, the joy that I've had since I've left.